Hello everyone, it's Jake Burkett with Real Broker. Thanks for joining me on another great home tour. So we are in the west side of the valley today, Summerlin, we're in the foothills. And it's just, this is a great community. I love this house, I love this floor plan, I know it very well. Super bonus feature, I'm gonna call it. Uh, whether you have a house with a balcony right now and you're not planning on moving, or if you're looking to buy a new house and maybe you need five rooms, but a lot of homes that are in your price range budget, your area you're looking for are only gonna have four bedrooms but it's a two-story house with a balcony. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to convert one of these balconies into a home office. So um, stay tuned for that, it'll be at the end of the video. And um, yeah, it's a great house. Let's, uh, let's go take a look, shall we? Oh, first, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you like. If there's a particular home you would like to see, a community, let me know. Recently had some folks ask about Boulder City, so we did the last two videos we did were Boulder City homes. So that's about it, and uh, thank you again. The house itself is 3,100 square feet, three car garage, uh, four bedroom, four bath. It's got paid off solar, which means you're not gonna have really a power bill. You're gonna have your NV Energy connection, which is about $15 a month. And then if you don't use more than this system produces, you'd have no power bill at all. Uh, pool, spa, salt water, tons of upgrades inside the house. I'll just kind of pan around the neighborhood here a little bit. So you can see here's the Summerlin Mountains right there. This is a corner house. It's on a 8,000 plus square foot lot. And we got a neighbor coming by right here. So there's a car. Other than that, let's go ahead and get inside this house and uh, take a look. Please continue to watch our channel, like, subscribe, comment, engage with us. Let us know everything, your thoughts on the house. And if there's uh, anything particular you'd like to see, um, comment, let me know that. And also, if you'd like to buy or sell a house, that's what we're really good at. So that's what we specialize. Let me know and we'll help you out there as well. All right, let's, uh, let's get started, shall we? So we have one bedroom downstairs. It's like an ensuite. Um, it's fantastic. Very open concept layout of this house. I'm just gonna pan around here real quick and then we're gonna to get to the stuff and then the other stuff. So here's the downstairs. Anyway, there's the entryway to the house. Pan up here. You can see it's got this open air with this beautiful light fixture coming down. Now this and these, some of these homes in this community have been closed off to create a larger loft, to create a loft. So uh, relatively inexpensive fix. Looks beautiful as it is. If you needed a little extra room, you could easily do that. So. Coming down the hallway here by the stairwell, this is gonna be the guest bathroom. This is for guests who are here at your house. This isn't for the ensuite. So standard bathroom, I like the gold trim here. Looks really nice, I like that dark accent wall. Actually, the whole room is accented. Now this is the ensuite bedroom. Fans going, it's cranking. You got a slider closet, little, little corner pocket right here. And then here's the bathroom. So this one's got quartz countertops. Solid front face uh, cabinets, big, big, huge sheet mirror there. Goes all the way to the ceiling, and then a nice walk-in shower in the back. So ceilings in this house are, are 10 foot ceilings. So it gives you a lot of air volume. And then just coming back out here, this is kind of that area right by the front door. Coat closet right here. As we come into the main area, we do have a wet bar. So let's look at that real quick. So if you got friends, you like them to hang out, like you have your own, you have a bar, right? Pull it to the bar, got some wine fridges down there. You got a sink, some decor, however you want to do it. So really nice. Now these ceilings right here are, I believe they're 20 feet tall. And you'll notice you have tons of windows, tons of natural light coming into this house. You see the ones on top, I believe they may have some tint on them. Or it might just be the blue sky, I can't tell. And then down below, you got these huge ones as well. So lots and lots of natural light coming to the house. You got this big, beautiful uh, centerpiece wall right here with the fireplace in the center of it. So that's going all the way up to the ceiling. Kind of pan back around. You can kind of see into the upstairs loft type area. Just really good looking. You got another nook build out over here. Could easily put a desk there if you wanted to. And here's a great thing for any home, right? If you got a house, and you've got a big stairwell, there is usable space under the stairwell. You just gotta build it out. And then you have additional storage. So, pretty cool. All right, so into the kitchen. So this is definitely a one concept great room. You have your living area over here where you're hanging out with your friends and family. 
your formal dining area, there is no barriers. It is just right here in the center. Trust me, it works really, really well. Um, it just becomes a, a focal point if you're, people are sitting down talking, there's people in the kitchen, there's people over here in the living room side entertaining, or if you're sitting down for a nice big formal uh, meal, you have a decent sized table, you can put a bigger table. If you had, uh, you know, Christmas, Thanksgiving, you gotta put a pop-up table, you could definitely do that. Fixtures, there's lots of lights in this house. Carrying into the kitchen, you can see the accent, this little pop ceiling right here. Waterfall edge, two different types of stonework right here, I like it. Talking too fast, getting out of breath. You got your fat fin or flat finish cabinets, soft close. Kind of pan around here a little bit more. You got your gas cooktop, you got your hood. You got your microwave right down here. Give you this view looking out. Some nice pendant lights right here, of course. Cruising on over here, you got your double ovens, get your fridge. So yeah, so let's take a look. Uh, here's your pantry. Oh, light turned off, let me just get the light on and then we'll look in the, uh, uh, why didn't that light turn it on? Oh, anyways, that's a pantry. <laughs> and it's a two in one car garage, so here's the two. And you can see we got some storage racks. It's just it's just our normal two car garage. So, and then you got a standalone third. Do have a, looks like it's some sort of finish here on the concrete. A little bit of polish work, and maybe some sealant, hot water heater, water conditioner. Let's go check out outside. Look at this pool. And if uh, so, right here we have uh, three five foot sliders. So I'll just show you real quickly if if you're not familiar with these setups, how they open. So, creates a great environment for indoor-outdoor living when the weather is really nice in Vegas. I mean, we have, you know, indoor-outdoor living weather probably about eight, nine months of the year, sometimes 10. So, this opens up, gives you about a 10-foot entryway into the backyard where you have a large covered patio. Got a ceiling fan there and you got a speaker, or no, a ceiling fan drop, well, a light and a speaker, sorry. Little TV mounted there, some turf. And then here you have your, uh, your jacuzzi, you got your pool, nice size pool. Could do a lot of entertaining there. And over here, you got a decent side side yard. You got a little putting green, you got your two AC units right there. Some nice trees, you got a citrus right here, two citrus types of trees. Pool equipment's just behind that wall behind me. And so yeah, there's your backyard. Now let's go upstairs. We'll check out the two other secondary bedrooms and we'll also visit the primary suite. Beautiful walk-in closet, beautiful bathroom. And I'm gonna show you that balcony and what that conversion can look like. And just pause here for a second. So this is the kind of the view from the uh, stairwell landing. All right, top of the stairwell. So like I said, this is really aesthetic. It's really good looking. This could be closed if you wanted to. I've seen it. And we have, we'll call this bedroom number two because we'll call the one downstairs one. This one's a nice size room. It's got a walk-in closet. And we're still gonna call this a Jack and Jill bathroom, although it doesn't butt right up to this room, but it does the other, and that's the purpose of it. So two sinks, big mirror, cabinets. And then just a traditional bathroom right there, with fiberglass building. Here's the other bedroom. Now this one has a, just a slider door. And then we're gonna pop out and we're gonna have the laundry room right here. So you got a nice size laundry room, you got a sink, more cabinets, more storage. Got an additional linen closet right here. And then this is your entryway into the primary bedroom, which I feel like is just the right size. You can have some huge, and I know I've done some videos with some primary bedrooms that are just massive, massive, absolutely huge. 
and um, or some that are maybe feel a little tight. But this one's just got a great amount of space. Got a beautiful accent wall back there. You do have another little drop down ceiling right here, so you could do something with it if you wanted to. It's a nice little corner area over there. And we're gonna go to the balcony real quick. So this, and you'll just have to bear with me a few more minutes, can easily be converted for about $20,000. And yes, I know that's a lot of money. And this will create a 100 and approximately 60 square foot office. You'll have a window there, two windows there, one window right there. This stucco right here, this all gets taken away and brought flush to a 90 in the corner and get rid of those little uh, corners like that. So anyways, just hang on. We're going to check out the bathroom and then I'll cut away to the, uh, to the uh, already completed one. So, all right, coming to the bathroom, we've got a huge freestanding, I guess you'd say tree standing. It's a built-in tub, nice and big. Got a big walk-in shower. Some nice tile work all the way up to the top. Got split sinks, but they're really nice big areas for each one. Kind of just kind of give you everything. Really, really big sheet mirror with the, uh, the light mounted right there in the middle. You got the other one over here with the vanity. And you have a toilet. And then this closet is all, is all built out. So it looks really nice. But hey, thanks so much for joining us. Please like, subscribe, comment below. Again, if you're looking to buy or sell a house, that's what we're really good at. Definitely an amateur when it comes to videography. Love to engage with you, comment, give me a call. It's all my contact information. You're always gonna talk to me. So um, have a great day and thank you so much. All right, so this is what this balcony conversion can look like for you. Gives you about 160 square feet. Put four windows in it. Add a nice closet. Just pan back around here. Like this is a great use of a space that normally does not get used at all.